Alright guys, back with another player review. This time, Dirk Nodovitsky, who is awesome. I love Dirk, and he's just so incredible what he can do on the court. Like, watch this right here. Steps back, fades. Instantly, no matter what, he's got two guys on him. It doesn't matter. They were double teaming me all game, but you can't do anything. Dirk is that good. He's like a Carmelo Anthony, except slower. But he's got a better jump shot than Carmelo. Like, the three-point the three point jump shot's better. The mid-range is, is Melo's game, but, uh... Dirk Nowitzki is just like him. And he's better on defense, in fact. Look at that jump shot. I mean, that one-step fadeaway jump shot, they've implemented that into the My Career mode now. It's called the one-step, and you can fade back just like Dirk. They should be calling it the Dirk, because that's what it is. It's the Dirk step-back fade that everyone knows and loves, and that is so freaking good in this game. Look at that. Five seconds left. Nails the jumper. Ties it up. Sends it to overtime. And you know what happens in overtime. Dirk gives him this sweet finger roll right here. Look at that. Look at that move. He tried taking a charge and ends up getting destroyed. That was awesome. I love that move and seals the deal there. And later on, he hits a three to end it, basically. I mean, if you're going to try him out, you got to shoot threes. Like, it's something you got to do. Even if you don't like it, I mean, I don't like three pointers. I don't like shooting them. But you still have to, or else you're going to get your asses handed to you in this game. I mean,. People spam the shit out of threes, and you gotta shoot a couple. So, try that. But also, don't forget the mid-range. He's amazing at that. And, uh, yeah, don't forget to post up. I like to post up with him around either the very, very low post area or up near the uh, elbow. That's usually a good spot because if you post up near the elbow, they think you're gonna shoot that jumper no matter what. Whereas, you can just give him that fake, give him the right trigger, and drive right by them, finger roll it in, lay it up. Whatever you want to do. If you want to dunk it, you can with him. He can still dunk. But yeah, it's all about slowing the tempo down with Dirk. Because he's not a fast, fast player. Like, he can't run the court as well as many of the players in the game. And his stamina does drain very really quickly, I'd say. So, you kind of just want to try and keep it a slow-paced game if you're using him. You want to work the post. And, you know, just, just slow the entire game tempo down. And, uh, of course, use lots of fakes when you're backing them down in the post. You want to make it seem like they have no clue what you're doing. You want to make it seem like you're going this way, this way. You're shimming, you're backing down, you're faking left, right. You don't know if you're going to shoot or lay it up. Try all those. I give him a 9 out of 10. Overall, he's an 85. Pretty good rating. Be sure to check out these other videos on the screen, of course. Tell me what you guys want to see in the next player review. I'll add them to the list. And, uh, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And click that like button. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much. You're awesome.